Hey guys, today is just a quick little kind of almost filler video. It's actually unlocking from the vault here. I painted spoiler from Batman Gotham City Chronicles quite a while ago. You'll notice the old footage. And uh, I figured, you know what, I should probably actually put it together and get it out to you guys. Uh, so I did that. If you notice, um, this is actually the image I wanted to base it off of. Uh, so she has that other one, and then this one's like super shiny. And I really liked the idea of like a highly reflective, shiny, like top to bottom kind of look. Um, I think it contrasts really nice. And uh, in the end, uh, well, I guess you'll see how she turned out. I think I might, looking back at this, again, it's been a while, uh, I might give her a gloss clip, but we'll see. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so you can already tell the old background. One of the best things to do, by the way, and one of the way to get like these quick paintings is actually if, if it's all black like that, or at least a lot of black, go ahead and prime in black. Uh, the only bummer here is the, uh, the all, all the pink that she also has, but I think it's really what makes her stand out really well. So, you know, starting out, you get the black gray and then you go up to a, a, a uniform gray and just trying to kind of get a, a nice uh, contrasty highlights. Then you mix some white in there and you get that like reflective points here. Um, you know, I don't think, by the way, that this is my my best painting ever, but it was super quick, actually, which was kind of nice. So uh, we were able to get her uh, done and painted pretty quickly. And I think, again, I think adding a gloss coat would help. One of the funny things here is I end up highlighting too much. I end up highlighting where I don't need to because it's going to be pink. Uh, but, you know, when it's all black and it's kind of hard to tell which is what, I had to reference the art a little bit. I'm doing the base the same as all the others. So... Just the, the same old uniform gray, then no oil, and then an ash gray dry brush. That's that's all I'm going to do. Uh, then I'm going to have some basic skin tone for her eye. I think her face uh, is actually the best feature of this. I, at first, I thought it was the cape, which was super cool. But um, once you get her hair uh, uh, painted, and it kind of frames her face, and then she's so dark everywhere else that I think it, it really fits here. For her sticks... Uh, it, it, I did it the same as I did uh, for Nightwing, but I you could do just white. I think that would look super cool, uh, but maybe a little too Tronish, which is why I didn't. So I didn't want necessarily Tron here. So I did a bright silver instead. Uh, the eyes are actually very well sculpted. So you get some black gray in there for kind of the makeup and definition. You get some ivory in there for the eyeball and then a little dollop of black for the eye and it ends up looking great. This is the fun part though, right? So I got violet red is what I picked for this. And I think it turns out really, really cool. I think anyway, I think it's cool. Um, it's, it's just a really good kind of, uh, color to pick here, uh, for her. I think it matches pretty close and it's very kind of a stark contrast from the black. As you can see, you're going to need multiple coats. Um, again, it's been a while since I painted this. Uh, it doesn't look like I do multiple coats per se, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's showing up better in the, in the footage or, uh, than, than what it was, or maybe I was just fine with how, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on there, but either way, uh, you should definitely put multiple coats on here to get a kind of a, a really good coverage on it. And again, once you highlight it, you get this big brush out and you paint it. I think it ends up, uh, again, just going super quick. And it's just a very cool design. So here's that hair. And this is demonic yellow. And then I use Dorn yellow from Citadel as the highlight, uh, which I absolutely love to do. And just the way it, it, again, it just frames her face and really, really stands out on this miniature. Uh, it, it's, it's definitely a highlight of it. You know, you have like a Batwoman with the red and all that. And that's super cool. But her suit's also really red and, and, and black and all that. And so it doesn't, it doesn't stand out as much, right? Whereas this yellow hair just pops, uh, in such a cool way, I feel that it's, 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 it's just awesome. I really, really like that part. I, I think the face is definitely my favorite part of this miniature just because of how well it, it kind of pops out. So as you can see, you can still see some of the black there. Now I'm going to do some highlighting and, and, and such and, uh, you know, it, it, I guess it is, it is what it is. It's just a little, a little odd that I didn't do more, but whatever. A dry brush pops out that texture, as you can see so well. Uh, I love it on the, these. I think it turns out well. Black lining is definitely the longest part of this miniature, even with the black. Um, I still try to do the black line and I'm going for kind of, uh, a, a kind of a rougher on purpose because I want it to look almost painted. And I know that's not necessarily the comic book style that, um, uh, you know, when, when you think of a comic book, so you don't really think of like painted, but I think on the miniature, at least it looks cool, 
um, to see those brush strokes. It, it kind of reminds me almost of like a, um, a Batman Ninja kind of, uh, not, not necessarily art style, obviously, but just that kind of, I guess, uh, art look to it where it, you know, comics can look very clean too. And this isn't that kind. It's a much more kind of a flowy kind to it, which, which I actually kind of like. So yeah, now we've added white in there. And as you can see, we're popping that contrast up a lot. In fact, I'm not even happy with that. So I'm going to make it look even brighter. There we go. And that's mostly just from getting more paint on my brush. So these, this is not really watered down like a highlight would be. This is pretty, as you can see, pretty much just the, the paint on my brush. Uh, so it's, it's quite stark as a contrast. And it just, again, makes it pop out. Uh, you know, I, I can, I'm not that the happiest with this miniature, at least looking back at it, I, I thought it looked pretty cool at the time. So I don't know, maybe again, it's, it's, it's been a while. It's kind of interesting to do this. Let me know, by the way, if you want me to start, um, again, I, I've painted a lot more minis than I've ever posted. Uh, it, but with this new style of video, I can actually make them pretty quick. It doesn't take hours and hours and hours to edit. So let me know if you want to see, uh, more like this is just kind of a, a bonus, uh, video every now, every now and then, you know, I'm going to have one again later in the week. Uh, so this is just kind of a, uh, a, a way to get these out there to you guys. So you guys can see them again. I was trying to do that high reflectivity kind of like light stream. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to call it. I don't know how light works. You guys know that, but on the, on the art, it was kind of like these strands of uh, reflective light. Uh, and, and it does add a lot to the texture, which I do like. And now I'm putting a gloss coat just on the sticks. Again, I think I might actually put a gloss coat on the whole miniature, except her face. I might cover her face and give it a gloss coat. Um, and I like, I might go back and do that just to see how that looks. I think that might tie it in a bit more. But anyway, here she is. Again, I love that face. I think that hair framing is so awesome how it's poking out there because she's all of like three colors otherwise. And then it's just that little bit of her face with the uh, the hair poking out, which I thought was super, super cool. As you can see, that base is bending up. That's that's monolith for you. I don't I don't like it. I think they need to start doing ABS on their bases. Um, it's just something that needs to happen. But uh, otherwise, I think the colors are really cool. And I think that uh, it's really nice to paint somebody up this quick. I, I think it ended up quite well in that regard. And looking at it in the final form here, I think not doing a, another coat, it maybe ended up giving it some volume. I'm not sure. I might even just redo the whole cape. I don't know. That's kind of bothering me now. <laughs> uh, it, you can see why I didn't release this one. Um, I, I'm not perfect here. I'm just average, right? And, uh, uh, you know, I, I do what I can, but let me know. I, I don't know. Do, do, do you like this kind of quick, rough style of painting? Um, it's not, it's certainly not my normal style. It's not what you normally see me do. My next painting video that I'm going to release, I've promised myself it's going to be gluttony and I spent way longer in him and I think he turned out way better. He is amazing. I think I even, uh, teased the image in a few spots. So I think even my community page. So if you go to my community page, I think you can actually see a picture of gluttony. I think, I, I think I made that public and posted that there. So, uh, go ahead and check that out. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. And again, I will see you later in the week here. Just wanted to kind of, um, I don't know, I guess surprise you with a painting video. So, all right. Anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys uh, real soon. And thanks so much for watching. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for being there. And uh, yeah, catch you on the flip side.